These episodes are part of Jesus' prayer for the disciples, and it is the climax of this long speech of Jesus uh, to the disciples that is addressed in the telling of the story to the audience uh, as those who are invited to become his disciples. And in this instance, the first part of this prayer is specifically directed to the disciples. But here, the prayer is not only for the twelve, but for all those who will believe. That is, the entire audience of John's Gospel. So at this point in the prayer, Jesus is praying for us, and including us as the listeners to this story in the community of the disciples and those who are uniquely loved by him and by God. Now the prayer of Jesus is that they may all be one. And this is the theme of the first episode. It is the verbal thread that runs through uh, this whole episode. So the phrase I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe through their word, that they may all be one. And in the final sentence of the episode then, that they may be one as we are one, I and them and you and me, that they may become completely one so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Now, if you recognize this verbal thread that they may all be one, it will enable you to learn this episode easily. Now, what this is about is that there clearly were divisions within the community of the followers of Jesus in the first century. It happened almost immediately. This is reflected in Acts 15 and the controversy over the inclusion of Gentiles in the church in Acts 15. But the prayer of Jesus is that they may all be one just as he is one with the Father. Now, the purpose of this oneness is not mystical union and joy. The purpose of this oneness is that the world may believe that God sent Jesus. And also, in the second episode, the purpose of the giving of Jesus' glory to them is that they may be one, and that the world may know that God has loved them, and that this love is potentially present for everyone, that they may be completely one. So the purpose of Jesus' glory is then that there is a oneness, a unity, in Christ's glory, and in God's love. The prayer is that they may be one, and the second part of the prayer is that they may be with him and see his glory. Now, this is an incredible prayer, uh, a prayer that they may be with him in heaven, in the place of his glory, in the throne room where they can share his place at the right hand of God, that they can participate in the love of God uh, for Christ from the foundation of the world. So this prayer is a vision of a future time when uh, those who believe in Jesus can be present with him in the place of glory. This is in contrast to the experience in the world. The world does not know you, but I know you, and these ones know that you have sent me. And so the purpose of Jesus making God's name known and that he will make it known in the future is that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. So Christ's prayer is that his love 
will be in us and that we will know it now and in the future. It's a kind of prayer for a oneness of love at a kind of cosmic level, encompassing all time from the beginning to what will be in the future. And the purpose of this is that God's name may be made known as Christ has made it known and will make it known in the future so that the love of God can be experienced by everyone. The prayer is then for a, a complete oneness, a unity in love, a oneness, a togetherness in love that joins uh, those who have believed, those who have been part of Jesus' community. But this is also an extension of that community that reaches out and is an invitation to everyone who hears this story to enter into this relationship of intimate love uh, with Jesus, with God. So I would suggest that you tell this story in the spirit of Jesus' prayer for the extension of his love and of the love of God uh, to everyone. So you want to search for what is a way of praying for love and of expressing in the tone, in the whole spirit of uh, this prayer, uh, Jesus yearning, his desire that all may know and be part of, be one in